Hi. Good afternoon. This is Richard Urban. This video is going to tell you how to set up your departments and sections on the back end of the Urban Grocery Delivery System. So the departments and sections are what determines what shows up on your Choose an Aisle page and the subsequent pages that are in the shopping cart and how, how they're arranged. So you have flexibility in how to adjust this. So for instance, the uh, what we call sections are displayed on top here and departments are displayed in the bottom here. You can choose any selection of sections and or departments. For instance, you could only show these departments and not show the sections. Now, why do we have both? Well, it, departments are a higher level. So for instance, refrigerated, if you click on refrigerated, you're going to see that there's several different sections. Dairy, refrigerated baked goods, refrigerated condiments, refrigerated desserts, and so on. Okay, now, so these sections could be displayed individually up here. We've chosen not to do that, but ditto with frozen. So what we've chosen to do here is eliminate some departments. For instance, there's a department called general food. Well, that's kind of vague. So instead of that, we've used the sections up here. So you can use any combination of sections and departments, if that makes sense. All right. So if you look at another one of our affiliates here, you can see that they have, you know, a different selection of sections. For instance, here we see on this affiliate, they've used only sections here no departments. So they've broken it down into having only the sections here and not using any departments at all. Okay, so that's another possibility that you can do. Okay, so let's go on the back end now and find how you adjust these. So what you do is go under product maintenance and then you have two areas where you can edit these. Departments, as I said, and sections. Remember, departments are broader so here's where you find the departments. So you can put the order the departments appear on the page here. Use the two digits like 01, 02, 03, etc. And you can show whether the department's showing or not. So you can indicate here whether it shows on the main page, which is the one we we're just looking at, or on both pages. Both pages means it will also show up on the um, subsequent pages. Usually that's what you want to choose. The subsequent pages, it'll, so it'll also uh, show up. So, and then here you can choose an image. Always use HTTPS, so it'll, uh, it'll show that it's secure. And you can, you could choose any image from Urban uh, Grocery Delivery System as your uh, front image here. You also can, um, upload your own images to any product and use those too. Okay? So that's how you choose departments. So you can show whether they show or not here. Now, as far as sections, it's very similar. You can also choose whether they show or not here. Again, the picture URL is here. Generally, the page should be set to both. And you can set the order of the departments here and um, if you only want to see departments that are active, you can sort them by clicking on the header up or down. So this is only showing the um, yeah. So this is now showing the active uh, sections here. Okay, so that gives you some idea of how to choose your sections and departments. So you can choose how you would like to display them. Now, a question that comes up pretty frequently is, can I change the department headers? For instance, if we look here, we'll see that it says SS vegetables, which means shelf-stable vegetables. That, now, our data partner, our partner where we get the data from, or your so-called local data, uses these headers. So that's why we use them. That's the way they give it to us. Can you change it? Yes, you can change it. For instance, if you go in admin, 
you could change the section name. For instance, we could change um, SS fruit to fruit. However, that would cause no products to show up. So if you change the section header to fruit, you're also going to have to change the products. Now you can do that if you want to because we have a tool to help you do that. So go to the products um, window. So say you wanted to change the SS fruit section. So we could choose SS fruit here. SS fruit section. SS fruit. F-R-U-I-T. Okay, then we could search for the SS fruit section right here. And then here's the SS fruit section. So we see it's quite a bit here. We could also set it to us display up to 100 per page. So it looks like the SS fruit section is uh, 800 items. However, we don't really need to change the items that aren't active. So in my case, we're using tag 2. You'll be using the tag or tag 2. So just choose the active items now. Okay. So it looks like for active items... Okay. Active items are ones where not marked for DEL here. In my installation, we use tag 2. Usually, it'll be tag. Just use the tag field. So it looks like there's about 300 items. So if we wanted to change all these, here's how we would do it. Say you want to change it from SS fruit to fruit. So you would go ahead and change one of the, the uh, things to whatever you want it to be, like fruit. Then you could select all the items by clicking here. And then you could click on copy current value. And then that's going to change all these. Leave it in here. That's going to change everything here would change to fruit from SS fruit. It would be changed to fruit. Okay. So once we clicked ch change, and then you could go to the next page and next. And so you could change them pretty quickly. Now, if you're going to change things, like I'm going to cancel that because I don't actually want to change everything. If you're going to um, do that, wait till after you receive the local product update because our partner that provides with the database uses these section and department categories. So if you change them all, then, then when you got the local product update, you'd have to do it again. Okay, so I hope that helps you to understand how to set up your um, aisles. You could set them up like um, this, and you can customize them like this. You can put your own images on. You could just use sections only and not departments if you like, or use some departments and some sections. And we mentioned how you can go here on the menu, or rather the back end, and you can adjust apart, apart departments rather here and sections here. So I hope that helps. This is Richard Urban. Um, and we hope that this will help you as you set up your sections and departments. Take care, and we will see you later.